this piece here, it is all twisted, it's uneven, um, it is quite large. So it's too large to run through the jointer or the planer. I guess you could hand plane it and get it surfaced that way, but really this is a great opportunity to use the CNC machine. That way, not concerned about size, you can take off a pass, turn it around and take off another pass. Okay, so first of all, just by looking at this piece, uh, I mean, this has, it's like heartwood. So there's a crack in the middle. Um, and since it is so out of whack, in order to get it flat, it's gonna be reduced in, in size quite a bit. Okay, we're gonna be using these wedges here to uh, secure it. So I mean, the key here is you want it to be solid so it doesn't rock or anything. So basically, after getting this sturdy, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue. A tiny bit there, a little tiny bit here, here, like in each corner uh, to keep it stable. The trick when you are surfacing like this, you can't put any clamps or anything above here. You know, you're going to go over the whole piece. So you may think this is actually quite a small amount of hot glue and it's right on the edge, but that's enough to hold it in place. It doesn't need a whole lot. If you were to put like a ton of hot glue underneath, it would just be like too annoying to get off later on because you have to flip it later and flatten the other side. Okay, so which bit to use? This is a half inch spiral upcut bit that we're gonna use. Um, just for size difference, you can see here, this is a quarter inch. Um, and this you can go quite fast with, it produces a nice cut. Um, this to compare with is a two inch surfacing bit. And you can see here that there are like little carbide cutters um, right there. Now the thing with this bit is that it produces a lot of fine dust. It's a different kind of cut. Uh, whereas this bit produces more like shavings and you can go faster with this one as well. So in my experience, this is a better choice for flattening a piece of wood like this. So found the high point right here at this piece and it, this is quite a lot higher than over there. It's about an inch or so different, an inch and a half. Since the difference is so great, you don't want to run the machine in the air over and over again. So we're gonna start with cutting just a section here, that's the high point, and then go from there. Six, seven inches by like six inches. Let's take a look at the software real quick. I'm using Aspire by Vectric, but the concept should be the same in any program. I consider the high point the origin, so I zero everything out manually at that point, the X, Y, and Z. So I'm starting the cut on the bottom right of the spoil board, and I'm calling that zero, zero, zero. Now, if I want to cut left of that, you're actually going into negative space. So by having the rectangle off the board in the software, I'm telling it to go into negative space, or in this case, left, <laughs> instead of normally right. So you can see the, the G code, you can see the pattern running it at 16,000 RPM and started at 250 inches per minute, but later pushed it to 300 inches per minute. Okay, so this is reading uh, two and a half inches about. That's pretty close here. Now we're down to about uh, just two and an eighth. So that's about a half inch difference right now. So that means that next step here is to do another square and go from there to about the middle. And then we'll move gradually further down. So this was designed to cut a square, but of course we only cut a little rectangle because that was the actual high part. So this surface here, is, it's nice, it's quite nice. So even though it's not completely cut all the way down, um, I think this is a good time to, uh, to turn it around and start the other side. The big issue here though is that you want it to sit flat in order to flip it around and surface the other side. So it will sit perfect now, it, it, this is great. Of course you could try to get everything flat if you really wanted the, the width, uh, but then you're gonna lose a lot more material.
Okay, so at this point, the XYZ needs to be set up again. So let's put the piece on. Okay. Oh, look how nice and flat that is. That looks beautiful. We have about two and a quarter inch high here and, and one and a quarter inch down here. This is the low point. So either you could run the whole piece and get it to that, but I really just kind of need this section right here. So I think what we're going to do is to just flatten this piece right here so you don't have to go down all that uh, distance down. So I think we're going to stop right here because I'm doing this for a project and I need to cut out a, a couple of different pieces and I want this thickness. I don't want to bring it down any further. Um, so I'm going to cut out the pieces and then I can always finish surfacing this later on and have some thinner pieces for something else. Also uh, a couple of things to kind of recap real quick. If you want to do something like this is to first of all wedge it, make sure it's flat. Secondly, use a little bit of hot glue. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need a ton. Surface it out in sections. Don't do the whole thing in one shot so that your machine just will go over air too much. And if you don't need the full piece, you can do one section and get a thicker piece um, and then do the other sections later on and end up with thinner pieces. Of course, this is something you cannot do with a planer um, or jointer, that kind of thing. You're stuck with whatever thickness throughout if you're doing it that way. So it's a really nice benefit using the CNC machine. I was using a half inch spiral upcut bit for all the cuts and the finish is beautiful. I was going pretty fast, about 300 inches per minute and was going down about a quarter inch per time. So overall this took about, what, an hour, something like that um, to get to this point which really isn't bad, of course, the machine is doing most of the work. So if you have access to a CNC machine and you have a weird piece of wood, then this is a really nice thing to do on it. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.